Hi, I'm John, the banking systems engineer, Termel. And I just heard a report of an old uh, show with Leonard Nimoy on it, Mr. Spock, on the Mayan prophecy. And this show was done like 30 years ago, and they said it was going to happen on December 24th, 2010. And that's like next week. So here I am out at the Occupy Toronto, the 10th March, 10th week in a row. Now I'm the only one left. And I've decided, how could the Mayan prophecy possibly come true? So this is what this is about, an explanation of how that might work. I'm going to lead off with last week's March, where I forgot my picket sign at home, and I had to make do with a much smaller sign, so it'll be a very short piece about the March from last week. And then on to the 10th March this week, uh, from the Occupy Toronto to push the Argentine solution. So that was the march from the 10th of December, and now the march from the 17th. Wow! Oh, some people left here. Okay, this is the 10th week. This is the uh, 17th of December, 10th week at St. James Park at the Occupy Toronto movement. And basically, today I'm going to talk about whether a lot of these people are morons or moles. Morons for not having found the solution in 10 weeks worth of searching and moles for doing all the talking and leading people with nowhere to go. So we're going to discuss how this goes about happening. Well, I've been talking about the Argentine solution for the last 10 weeks. Quickly, in 2001, Argentina was busted. 2006, all foreign debt paid off. They did that by having the unions accept small denomination provincial bonds. Anybody could use to pay their taxes, hydro, medical, and licenses with. Great poker chips. Everybody took them. Nobody lost their job. More guys hired. All foreign debt paid off in five years, and nobody heard about it. We can do it, too. So, now back to the secret team. Why is it that nobody is talking about the actual solution to our problems? I've been pushing the Argentine bonds here, and I've been asking people, would you work for bonds? And 90% of them, 99, go, yeah, sure. But how come the people doing all the talking are talking about anything but? The people who are doing all the talking are wasting everybody's time. Look at where they're at now in the United States, occupying a port. Let's disrupt the ports. That's going to help something? Well, I'm trying to explain that the Argentine solution can work anywhere. And what's really funny is that in the States, Dennis Kucinich has introduced a bill, H.R. 2990, to have the U.S. Treasury replace the Fed. Now, Ron Paul, he wants to have a study, and other people want to end the Fed, but they got no alternative. And here's Dennis Kucinich with an alternative that worked before Abe Lincoln's Treasury greenbacks, and nobody's supporting it. All these talking mouths in the Occupy movement who are doing all the blathering, and they got a bill that's going to give them what they want, and they're not supporting it. The New York um, uh, General Assembly, I've been leaving posts over there saying, why aren't you people supporting Dennis Kucinich's bill to end the Fed and replace it with something? Nothing. They just don't respond. Well, what does that tell you? Are these people mere morons or are these people doing all the talking moles working for the other side? Well, my experience has been in any organization, if the guys with all the money don't infiltrate those organizations, they'd be stupid, wouldn't they? An example, East Germany, they had one-third of the people spying on the other two-thirds. If you got all the money, you can do that. Well, in our culture, big money simply hires all the rich kids coming out of university and says, take our six-month CIA course, become an undercover agent, 
probably will never need to call on you to do the dirty deed, go back to your business, but remember, we'll tell you who to vote for to promote, and our guys will be voting to promote you, and our guys all end up being promoted to the top, and that's how the secret team end up at the top of almost all protest organizations, leading them nowhere useful. Let's block a port. Let's be a pain in the ass. That's all they got? Well, they've been ducking the Argentine solution. They've been ducking Dennis Kucinich's treasury money bill. And I'm calling them on it. I'm saying, if you guys don't support Kucinich or Argentine bonds, you're a bunch of morons. Or worse, you're a bunch of moles. So, today is our 10th picket at the... Toronto, Occupy Toronto, St. James Park. We're going to march off to the Bank of Canada for our picket, and then let's hope that uh, we'll take a little holiday and then uh, come back after. So Johnny Engineer with the Popper Party saying, hey, we're still standing, we're still protesting, even if the other disillusioned and no alternative people have gone home. So here I am. Uh, May as well give it quickly. There it is. We want to have our interest free Unilets Bank where you can pay off your debts with time or with cash. And of course, I want the Unilets time standard, not gold standard. And on the other side, well, of course, we don't want to cancel debt. We'll pay what we owe. We just want to cancel the debt growth, the damn loan shark usury. And finally, all the religions, Jesus, Muhammad, Nehemiah, they all say, don't lend your money at interest. But time we started to listen. So, when the 99% start our own underground time bank, the 1% are going to have to come and get a job. Johnny Engineer, Banking Systems Engineer, signing off from St. James Place, December 17, 2011. See you next time. about the Mayan prophecy. Come a little closer. Now you know they've been talking about the Mayan prophecy which is supposed to happen December 21st, 2012. Well I was watching an old show with Mr. Spock, Leonard Nimoy, um, and it said that the Mayan prophecy is supposed to happen December 24th, 2011. That's in seven days. Wow. Now either the world can get a lot worse than it is now or the world's supposed to get a lot better than it is now but how in the world is the Mayan prophecy gonna happen in seven days can you figure out a way I can now you gotta remember I thought there was something neat happening two weeks ago I heard about a video contest that said we're looking for the Occupy silver bullet a thousand dollar reward for the best video explaining the silver bullet that the Occupy movement should use. Well, I was going to submit and I was working on it by the 16th, the Argentine solution. Which, remember, just got to accept provincial bonds in your pay that you can use for hydro taxes, medical licenses, and you got a new kind of money for paychecks can be done anywhere. Well, that's the silver bullet. Any state or provincial government can pay their employees with provincial bonds. So, we're going to do that. That's what we're pushing. Pardon? Can you remove yourself from the property, please? Thank you. Steps. <laughs> I'm the steps. You know, I was thinking about it. What right do they have to tell me a citizen of Canada who pays taxes to get off the steps of the Bank of Canada, a public building. I think maybe next time we're going to have to have the cops come and see if I have to get off the steps of the Bank of Canada or not. Provincial bonds. Seven days! Well, I was thinking, wow, 
what would happen if I won the contest. They were all supposed to be submitted by the 16th. A video for Occupy, a silver bullet. And of course, my silver bullet would have been the Argentine solution. So I said, wow, wouldn't that be neat if the Occupy movement could catch on to the Argentine solution, say, how come Argentina managed to pay off all their foreign debt in five years after being broke? Why don't we do that too? And maybe that could have gone viral and spread worldwide. I figured, wow, this video is due one week before the 24th when Leonard Nimoy's show says that the Mayan prophecy is happening next week, not next year. And I'm figuring, how can this happen in seven days? Going from hell to heaven in seven days. Well, let's say within seven days, how many times have you seen Mr. Spock save a planet by reprogramming the central bank computer? I can do it too. That's why if you YouTube for Prime Minister of the Planet, I come up. The Argentine solution is, in 2001 they were broke, 2006 all debt paid off. They did that by the unions accepting small denomination provincial bonds for hydro taxes, medical and licenses, a new kind of money. No layoffs, more employment, debts paid off, we can do it too. Well, I was figuring that if this video explaining the Argentine solution could go viral in the next seven days, Son of a gun, we could have everybody in the planet with a job working for poker chips that are backed up by human labor, and it's just like a big Bank of Canada PayPal. Thank you. You log on, you open an account, you cut checks to settle all your mortgages, death gambles, at interest, and after that, all payments go against principal. Well, if that video had gone viral, maybe we would have stepped from the hell of exponential debts at usury to the heaven of linear debts with no usury, just paying for the stuff you got and not for the time, the money you used. So anyway, I figured, yeah, we could probably have the Mayan prophecy fulfilled within the next seven days if that video had gone viral. Then they postponed the deadline for the video to January. And I'm going, oh no, how in the world can the Argentine solution go viral in the next seven days unless I come out for my 10th Bank of Canada march from St. James over to the Bank of Canada here, post it on the internet with the video, and it might still go viral the fact that we could create enough chips to pay ourselves to save ourselves because otherwise the occupied movement's looking pretty stupid and it's kind of lucky that I'm the only one left standing 10 weeks later. <laughs> My pleasure. We'll get you your interest free credit card. You'll see. Bye. Okay, c'est tout. He liked it. <laughs> ah, yes. I tell you, some people... So that's it. The only way for the world to be fixed by the Mayan prophecy, if Mr. Spock and that earlier show were right, December 24th, Christmas Eve, this year, would be for this video to go viral and for governments to agree to accept each other's bonds as long as they're denominated in the time standard of money and to give everybody an interest-free credit card at the big PayPal at the United Nations, the Unilets, which means that everybody in the planet would be connected to the resources they need to survive and that can all be done by next week. It could have always been done as fast as we can reprogram a computer, as fast as we can upgrade the software with the switch of a disk. So, let's see what a Christmas this would be if we could go from hell to heaven just by doing what Jesus said. Let the exacting of interest stop. And that was Nehemiah, actually. Jesus said, if you have money, do not lend it out at interest. Just like Muhammad. So, if all the great religions are in agreement with getting rid of loan sharking, can we really actually reprogram the bank's computers within the next six, seven days to do that? Yes, we could. Are we smart enough? Well, given the reaction to the Yankees down south, to the bill 
Dennis Kucinich's bill to have the Treasury take over the Fed and do it interest-free with absolutely no support from all the talking mouths and the leadership of these movements? Probably not, but you never know. All it takes is man with one eye in the land of the blind.